earthworm earthworm is the common name for the largest member of oligocata there are several genera of earthworm an earthworm is usually studied as a type of annelid because it is available almost everywhere systematic position phylum annelida class oligocata order opisthopoda genus ferritima type posthuma habits and its habitat earthworm is a terrestrial worm living in burrows made in moist earth it prefers to live in the burrows during day and comes out at night and in damp cloudy weather during rainy season after a heavy rainfall earthworm leave their burrows and are seen in large number of crawling on the ground earthworm makes its burrows partially by burrowing with its painted anterior end and partially by sucking and swelling the earth morphology earthworm is a bisymmetrical animal its body is cylindrically elongated pointed in front blunt behind and thickest a little behind the anterior end a mature worm measure about 150 mm in length and 3 to 5 mm in width earthworm is of glistening deep brown or clay color dorsal surface is darker than the ventral surface and carries a dark colored median line due to dorsal blood vessels soft and naked body of earthworm is divided into 100 to 120 similar segments and called metamers earthworm lacks a distinct head and sense organ like eyes cirri and tentacles sense organ earthworms have a well developed sense organ or receptor organs which are quite simple in structure consist of a single cell or a group of specialized ectodermal cell three types of sense organ are found in earthworm epidermal receptor buccal receptor and photoreceptors epidermal receptor these are distributed all over epidermis but are more abundant on the lateral side and ventral surface of body buccal receptors these are confined to the epithelium of buccal chamber they are similar to epidermal receptor except that they possess broader outer ends photoreceptors photosensitive organs restricted only to dorsal surface are more numerous on prostomium and peristomium and gradually reduce in number towards position end of body not photoreceptors enable worms to judge the intensity of duration of light locomotion during locomotion coelomic fluid serves as a kind of hydraulic skeleton when compressed due to contraction of circular muscles it provides stiffness to body and aids in relaxation of longitudinal muscles the earthworm travels a distance of about 25 cm in 1 minute digestive system the digestive system is formed of alimentary canal and digestive gland alimentary canal it is a complete and straight tube running along the entire length of body mouth and anus constitute its anterior end posterior opening respectively it functionally regnated into various parts such as buccal chamber pharynx oesophagus gizzard stomach and intestine buccal chamber clinic mouth situated ventral to prostomium and anterior end of peristomium leads into a short and narrow 
prosthesial buccal chamber extending up to middle of third segment. Pharynx Buccal chamber leads into spacious pear shaped muscles, pharynx, which extend up to fourth segment. Oesophagus Behind pharynx lies oesophagus. It is a short, narrow, thin walled tube. It extends up to seventh segment. Gizzard Oesophagus is modified into prominent oval, hard, and thick walled muscular organ. The gizzard is laying in eighth segment. Stomach Gizzard is followed by a short narrow tube. The stomach, which extends from segment 9 to 14, which are sphincter at each end. Intestine Region next to stomach is the intestine, which is a long, wide, and thin walled tube extending from 15th segment to the last. Circulatory system Circulatory or blood vascular system of earthworm is a closed system consisting of blood vessels and capillaries which ramify to all parts of the body. Blood is composed of fluid plasma and colorless corpuscles, physiologically comparable to the leukocyte of vertebrates. The red respiratory pigment that is hemoglobin occurs dissolved in plasma. It gives red color to blood and aids in the transportation of oxygen for respiration. Blood flows from behind the forward in dorsal vessels and from front to backward in ventral, lateroesophageal, supraesophageal, and supraneural vessels. Respiration Respiration takes place by diffusion of gases through general body surface. Gases exchange that is intake of O2 and giving out of CO2 takes place between blood capillaries of outer epidermis and surface film of moisture contributed by secreted mucus. Excreted waste and colomic fluid hemoglobin dissolved in plasma of blood acts as a respiratory pigment transporting O2 to the body tissue. Now reproductive system of earthworm. Earthworm do not reproduce asexually. Reproductive organs are somewhat complicated. It is monoosseous, that is hermaphroditic. As a rule, cross fertilization takes place. It is preceded by copulation. Now discuss about male reproductive organ. These include testis, testis sex. Seminal vesicle, vasa differentia, prostate glands, and accessory gland. Testis. Two pair of very minute white and lobed testis, one pair in 10th and the other in 11th segment. Testis sex. Both the testis of each segment are enclosed with a white thin walled testis sex. Thus, there are two testis sex in 10th and 11th segment. Seminal vesicle. There are two pairs of large white seminal vesicle laying in segment 11th and 12th. Vasa differentia. Each funnel leads behind into a slender ciliated thread like sperm duct or vas deferens laying in segment 18th. Prostate gland. It is a pair of dirty white float solid irregular and lobulate masses laying on one seventeenth segment up to twenty first segment accessory glands it is found in a pair of rounded white fluffy masses their secretion helps probably in uniting the two worms during copulation situated upon the seventeenth and at nineteenth segment now female reproductive organs the female reproductive organ consists of ovaries oviducal fennel oviduct and spermatheca ovaries a pair of small white digested ovaries lies in 13th segment attached to the posterior face of septum in front 
of it one either side of ventral nerve cord of vertical panel it is found with much folded and ciliated margins lies immediately behind each ovary in 13th segment of ducts each ovidical funnel leads behind into a short conical ciliated tube found on seven found on 14th segment spermatheca there are four pair of small flask shaped structures these are present ventrally one pair in each segment 6 7 8 and 9 copulation and fertilization Arthurma bisexual still self fertilization does not occur because they are protendrous. A reciprocal cross fertilization occurs between two worms and spermatozoa of one worm are transferred to another during a process termed copulation. After mutual interchange of sperms, the two worms separate and later lay their eggs in cocoons fertilization is the external taking place in the cocoon now discuss about economic importance of earthworm earthworm are simple commonplace creature of great economic importance to men small they certainly are but the directly or indirectly they are useful to us as bed and food all over the world they are used to bait for fishing. They are actually used as a food by uncivilized people in many parts of the world. Large number of them are eaten by frogs, moles, lizard, small snakes and other predatory invertebrates. In agriculture, although they may be sometimes do damage the young and tender plants, yet they are good friends to the gender gardener and farmers as they are continually plugging and manuring the soil. It is also used in medicine. So how? Earthworm were used variously as medicine. Medicine prepared from earthworm to cure stone in bladder, yellowness of jaundice, paria, piles, etc.